Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro, Year of the Dragon Reignited. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh... Since I skipped the developer logos in favor of a scene from Halo 2 the first time around, I thought I would include them here. And I also thought I would keep up my tradition of showing you what happens when I load the game in the second session, even though we've already seen that twice in this playlist. I also wanted to show something else that I didn't entirely notice before. But counterintuitively, I need to quit first. Look! The title screen is red now! Neat. Yeah, there seems to be the, col the same color coding here. In fact... <laughs> shout out to K.O.R who pointed out a detail that I hadn't noticed myself, or at least that I'd forgotten, which is that in the first game, the gem counter in the corner was purple. Yep. In the second game, that same gem is green. And now in the third game, the gem is red. And I just really like that they seem to carry this color coding through even in the menus purple, well, greenish-blue, and red. All right. I didn't actually mean to put a jump cut there, but believe it or not, there was a power outage in that point. <laughs> the program managed to uncorrupt the footage, and I got back in. So, uh, it's been about 20 minutes, and my mood has decayed noticeably. <laughs> Oof. They already kind of sucked before that, but things were turning around as I got into the uh, game okay. Then the power ran out, and it's not even fucking raining today. But the reason I'm really salty about that is that it's the third minor power outage in three days. Oh, Christ in a bucket. Let's check out the cloud spires and take our minds off this. Knock on wood. Okay, no intros then. Odd. Perhaps not as odd as a rhinoc with wings, but very odd nonetheless. Well, you look important. Rhinox have shut down our cloud generator, and I may never see a rainbow again. I mean, rainbows aren't made of clouds. I'm just saying. Oh. They didn't actually hurt. That did. Someone's having a good time. Uh... Oh. Yeah, there's a gem right there. Alright, there's my other dude and a gem, so I'll just grab that and go. Thought maybe it would just be treasure, but no, no, this looks like where we're going. If my wings were big and strong like yours, I could easily glide across here. I suppose I should probably explain the joke that both of these guys are named after different types of clouds. Wait. If my wings were big and strong like yours, I could easily glide across here. That's what I thought you said, but... You're hovering, my dude. I can't actually fly yet. So, you know, don't put yourself down. I need superpowers to do that. Oh, it's the fat ladies that sing. Ah! The timing was different than I was expecting. Most of them, like, rear back with an overhead smash attack that opens up, that, you know, pulls the, the shield off to the side. What if I just charge you? 
That's the one. Eat shit, Broomhilda. What are you? Some manner of duck. Give me fucking strength. The game just all tabbed by itself. And I know that's a minor issue that we've had before, but... Oh my god. It didn't happen once in Halo 2, and I'd kind of hoped. Hey, maybe we could trade out that awful audio popping that started coming up for that, huh? How about that? The barter system, but with technical issues. Sorry. I'm just grump. Actually, you know what? Let me check something. Shout out to Gundy's Lackey, who said that every time he hears the word Rhinox, he thinks about Transformers Beast Wars. <laughs> I like that. It's not even spelled the same. So there's a nice, convenient excuse. I guess since that show was from the 90s, I should probably provide the mention, again, that, uh... Wait, that's an egg. I don't like that. What's up, Zoe? Armor those enemies are wearing protects them from your dragon flame. I caught that! If you hold down the charge button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. Thank you, Zoe! You like that? Yeah, sorry, there was a dude in uh, Beast Wars named Rhinox, with an X, who turned into a rhino. <laughs> Joke's on you. That didn't actually hurt. Starting to say, I think, that uh, a few people have uh, commented on how the uh, the implication seems to be that dragons themselves are inherently magical. The portals aren't reactivating just because I've collected arbitrary numbers of eggs. It's because those eggs are hatching before we sent the hatchlings back to uh, the dragon worlds. And it releases magic into the environment when a dragon is born. I like that idea. Oh, come to think of it, I should say it right now. Yeah, sorry, I just uh, needed to mention it while, uh... Well, while I had 12 eggs! So I thought that was a nice coincidence. You see, Elthwar, shout out, said that, uh... You know, some of the eggs I'm rescuing could, hypothetically, be the ones I had saved in the first game. But there is a noticeable discrepancy there, because, uh, since they weren't the main collectible, there were only 12 of them in the entire first game. Oh, shit, that seemed close. Ah! Uh -oh! Just... no. Well, that was embarrassing! Ah, oh, my organs. Well, better start charboiling, then. Unless they've changed the rules, every ten of those guys you kill and eat, you get a blue butterfly, which is a one-up. Probably don't need to explain that at this point, but you know, just in case, for whatever reason, you started watching with this one. You know, I realized just today that, uh, I guess it makes sense that, uh, that, uh, this would be, you know, the best of them. I had been kind of surprised by that. I guess I was just sort of expecting the second one to be the best for some reason. But, uh... Then it hit me that... 
Well, yeah, this game came out in 2000. This game came out in October 2000, which means it came out one year and one month before Halo 1. So yeah, this is one of those weird overlap games where, you know, you at the same time you're getting launch titles for the next console generation, you are also getting... Uh, oh, there, that's a button. Jesus. Ah, yes. Well, at the same time you're getting, you know, uh, brand new launch games for the console generation, you're getting games for the old generation that push the hardware to its absolute limits and, uh... You know, or take full advantage of it. Well, well. If it isn't my favorite dragon, the sorceress has put me in charge of guarding these bellows. However, I might look the ah, other way tasty. if I was distracted. Counting <laughs> gem. <laughs> of course. Well, at least you didn't call it a small fee. No way, you doofus. Uh... What? No? Well, what else are you going to do with all those gems? My flying lessons. <laughs> that was a good one. Rude. He's so jovially, you know, evil. <laughs> Someone didn't plan that out at all. Uh... Happy birthday, Stephanie. Did, I had been starting to wonder if they were all the same model with different, uh, colors. And so a great service has been done. Or at least I've corrected that. Oh yes! Precious, precious gems! Well then, Spyro. You may now use the bellows any time you wish. Best of luck on your little egg hunt. You know, it's very cartoony, but we are still talking about sticking those horns into something as hard as you can. Even bulls hit you with the flat part of their horns, and only gore you as they twist their heads in passing. We are talking, basically, about high-speed impalements. So, yeah, I can understand why, uh, that would be a one-hit kill. Remember, to get your longest glide, press the jump button at the very top of your jump, and use the action button to hover at the end of your glide. Righto. Exactly sure how I left the ground there, but not gonna worry about it. They don't actually seem to have any attacks, which is weird. Oh, oh, that's interesting. The first one of those I found gave me a skateboard, and the second one I found well, tagged uh, tagged out for uh, Sheila. Whack. Oh, he activated the bellows. Maybe I can get the cloud generator working again. Uh, fluffy is not a type of cloud. I saw that. The Rhinox must have been using this thing to clog up the cloud generator. Good to meet you, Henry. Welcome. I do find myself wondering if we're making a mistake by letting the eggs hatch here. I mean, it'll open up more doors, but... I can't help but wonder why this sorceress wanted uh, all these eggs to begin with. I'm thinking giant evil army. Our 
sun has gone out. We can make a new one with our lava fusion cauldron and three sun seeds, but they keep burning out before we can get them in the pot. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to wrap this my head around this. Step on the switch to get a fresh sun seed and keep flaming it until you get it into the pot. eyes. Okay, sure. That wasn't too, too bad. Oh, that one looks different. Or maybe it's just because it's reflecting this room. Yeah, I thought that was a texture, not a, just a light pattern. I do like this filigree. Fancy. A bunch of cubes drawn on the floor. I do like when they're in when they're in a line like this. Hey, uh, that's new. Well, that's two. Huh, so there was a purple gem right there. Weird. Maybe I'm just losing it, that's fine. It would be the day for it. Also got a couple of responses from people informing me that the bracer is worn by uh, archers. Uh, we'll keep the uh, the string from rubbing against your arm and chafing the crap out of you when you shoot. It can also serve to hold your clothes down so they don't get caught on the string. I got a few things told to me by multiple people this time around. It's like you guys are all on the same wavelength. I like that. the fusion dance. Nice. Now that's what I call a sun. Here, you can have this last sun seed as a souvenir. I think it might be a dud, though. Oh. <laughs> Welcome, Lulu. You're very lucky. You're very unobservant. Didn't even have a face. A lot of weird mini game areas in this game. Oh no. It's you, and you've got one of the actual eggs. And it. What? I honestly say I wasn't expecting to see that guy again. We usually wake up our rain cloud at the crack of dawn, but these mischievous spirits are stopping our bells from ringing. Not 
story checks out. But let's get this guy first if we can. Dang it. Wedged myself. I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya. Damn it, I hit the wrong button. I'll jump you to death, you fucker! Congratulations, Brian. You're no longer kidnapped. Say hi to your parents for me. More importantly, that thief guy is dead, and we will never hear his voice in particular again. Unless I have to come back to this level to get all the things, because I have remembered that that's a thing I have to do often. <laughs> Damn. I can hear the rain as an ambient sound all around me in my headphones, but it's not actually raining. Not even directly beneath that guy. Yeah, sorry. Uh, fly around and flame the spear. Sure. Damn it. It's a shoe! Welcome, Jake. You're much better than a shoe. Ow. You know what? Problem solved. to see if there's anywhere else I need to get to. Maybe up there. Nope. That area is just painted on. No visual difference at all with that one. Well, I've helped out these weird woodchuck cloud fairies, and uh, I helped a few heavenly bodies somehow, in ways that defy most known rules of the universe. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm Burning Dog Face, Gazuntite, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Spyro, Year of the Dragon Reignited. Later.